right. What's going on, Ian Freeman? Hey, Pete. Yes. We're doing the Free Keen table here all weekend at the Liberty Forum. Free Keen, Cop Lock, from FPP.cc. All kinds of good stuff here. Not to mention Derek J's Victims Crime Spree, which we premiered last night to an almost packed, like a pretty packed crowd. 40 people in a room that could only hold 48, so it uh, went pretty well. So where, uh, where can folks see this if they didn't make it out uh, to Liberty Forum this year? VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. Uh, it's free online on YouTube. And of course you can order the DVD at order.VictimlessCrimeSpree.com, which is you know loaded up with bonuses. Uh, we got two commentary tracks, one with Derek J, the star of the film, the other with Derek, myself, and Bo Davis, the producers of the film as well. And uh, there's seven hours of bonus footage, so you'll see all kinds of stuff like the uh, the original video where a demo was arrested uh, for you know walking up the stairs in Keene, and all kinds of other stuff. Some uh, some other cop block videos are on there, and all you know anything that came out of Keene between 2011 and 2012 basically is is packed onto that disc. So. Cool. What's been the reaction thus far? You've heard from for people that have seen it. Yeah. Oh man, the audience loved it last night. I mean. When you're sitting, you were sitting in there, I mean, yeah. so you heard some of the, uh, the lots of applause, lots of laughs, and of course, some people. It's hard to watch for some people because the police are just so outrageous. Uh, I, I've had people tell me that they had to stop watching it just because it's so frustrating. Wow. So, in some in some some of the scenes. Right. Called. Yeah, I encourage people to check it out. Definitely. Yeah. Um, what? Uh, where can they go? Like, what? What are the links? Victimlesscrimespree.com, Freekeen.com, Coplock.org. And uh, fpp.cc is what uh, Daryl's so, thing is. And of course, we've got all kinds of you know sub things on those websites. So Free Keen's a big site. Um, one of the things you can do there is you can go to the tools section, tools.freekeen.com, and you can download um, flyers. That you know, this is the piece. This is the uh, philosophy of liberty flyer. Which, if you've seen the video, the animated video online, it's really pretty pop popular video. We took the text from that video and compressed it down, kind of really made it, uh, truncated it a bit, and uh, and made it good enough to fit on a, a you know single sheet of paper, and it makes it makes for a nice trifold, and this PDF is available on tools.freekeen.com. You can take this, send it off to your favorite printer. I recommend libertyactivistprinting.com. They're here at the, the conference as well. And they'll print it up for you. You can distribute this in your area. This is not a New Hampshire-centric thing at all. Uh, we also have Don't Take the Plea Deal. I don't have those here, but that's another flyer you can get over at tools.freekeen.com so you know we want to do activism that's duplicatable I mean stuff that you could do where you live but obviously if you come to New Hampshire it's easier to do all of this because you've got more people that are willing to help you out with it so what are some of the more common questions you're getting for like free keen kind of stuff like uh, about the pitch on uh, why you think folks should check out keen or, or just about the website or anything what well a lot of people uh, that have come by so far are aware of Keen. You know, it's, it's kind of on the map as far as the destination is concerned. And it, it gets probably more attention than than is really appropriate for the amount of people that have moved. I mean, it's not the epicenter because we don't have the majority of the movers, but we do have a decent amount and uh, we're, we're pretty good at doing media. So that's why Keen gets more attention than some of the other places where there might be as many or more activists is because we've got the blogs, we've got the TV show, we've got radio shows, and so we've done pretty good at getting the word out about it, and, and folks are interested, you know, and they're going to probably come to Keenvention, uh, hopefully, to, uh, to check it out this November. Right on, yeah, that's coming together, first ever Keenvention. Are you going to be speaking there, Pete? <laughs> I don't know, we'll see, man, I don't want to make any commitments for, that far out, i got to figure Fair things enough. out, but uh, good timing. <laughs> right now that's another one, keenvention.info is the, uh, the website for that, with hotel information, tickets are already available. They're 50 bucks, and it'll be a it'll be a weekend event, a lot like the Liberty Forum. At least that's the intention. It's probably going to be a lot smaller because it's keen. The hotel didn't hold as many people, and it's going to be its first year as well. But we're going to focus on activism uh, as far as like you know, panel discussions, speeches, instead of you know bringing in the the national speakers like they do here. Not that that's a bad thing, but we want to do something different.
different. And so it'll give folks a chance to come out to New Hampshire in the fall and check out, you know, New Hampshire at that time of year, which there's no real fall event. So, uh, so we'll lock down the fall and have Keen kind of be the, uh, the event for the fall. Give you a chance to come check check out Keen. Maybe hit the streets, do some Robin Hooding or some cop blocking. Uh, so we'll have some activism happening, like at the same time as the the hotel stuff and social events. I know uh, Cecilia is talking about doing like a bowling party on Friday. Uh, Saturday night, so uh, it should be a lot of fun. So what do you see uh, keen from today until a year from now? What do you hope to see transpire? Well, boy, that's a good question. Um, more people. I mean, we really, that's that's really the ultimate thing, whether it's keen or, or Manchester or wherever. We need more liberty activists. We need them here sooner rather than later. And we need people who, who are here for the long run. Uh, I think one of the, the common misconceptions about this movement is that, well, I can just move and be free within a year because we've got so many great activists and it just doesn't work that way. I think a lot of people come here thinking that it's going to be some kind of short-term thing and that we're just going to be able to make freedom happen instantly. And even with all the great activists we have, we still have a long way to go. So we need to double and triple and quintuple the numbers here so we can have an even greater effect. We need people. Hold on. Hold on. Any, uh, what what are some things you've learned in the, yourself in the past? Uh, I guess the past few years. Like, what do you think uh, is some of the best? Where have you reallocated your time to? Like, like what have you found effective means yourself? Well, uh, I'm still doing a lot of media. I mean, that's. I think media is probably it's my thing, obviously. But uh, I mean, I host Free Talk Live and program LRN.FM. Um, but. Yeah. Media. I mean, I think media outreach can reach the most people, so that's the most effective. But at the same time, you've got to have stuff to show them. So, you know, having civil disobedience, videos like Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree, um, obviously if Derek hadn't done that civil disobedience, we wouldn't have a DVD. And if the police had ignored him, then it wouldn't have been as interesting of a, of a story. So, uh, you know, civil disobedience, it's got its ups and it's got its downs. I mean, nobody wants to go to jail for 60 days. I've been there. Derek's been there. You've been in, in the in the claim for a while too, and that's the you know that's the downside. The courts, the courts, you have to t- you know spend time in courtrooms. I've got four open court cases right now. Uh, that I don't like. I really don't like it. But it's just like you know it's the negative side of doing stuff that is involved in standing up for your rights. I mean they're going to throw guns and courts and cages at you. And thank goodness I'm here in New Hampshire where there are people who care and who are willing to pay attention and you know be on board. So if someone's watching this that this is the first they've heard of Liberty Forum or of like cop walking tactics or this kind of message, like what would what like would you hope to leave them with? Well, I would ask you to think about what's happening in your area. You know, what kind of liberty activism is going on? How exciting is it to you? Um, is there something, you know, big and on the horizon? And are you being realistic when you answer those questions? Because I know that for me when I was living in Florida, I was doing a lot of the stuff down there and trying to put together various different outreach events and really having a tough time even just staffing an outreach booth. Uh, up here, it's no problem. If I need to do something, some sort of activism, put the word out, people respond, they get out there, they do it, they're excited about it. So it's really numbers that matter more than anything. So if you don't have a growing, vibrant, exciting, fun liberty movement where you live, is it realistic to believe that that's going to happen any time soon? Probably not. Uh, you know, by all means, if you think it is, stick it out and see how it goes. But if a few years go by and you're not seeing any growth where you where you live, why not come to where there are people moving? Why not come to where you've already got over a thousand liberty activists who are here as part of the Free State Project? You've got over 13,000 that have pledged to make the move. That number is going to keep going up. We're almost to 14,000. You know, we're, we're two-thirds of the way to our goal of 20,000 people. I don't know about you, but I want to be where there's 19,999 other Liberty Actors. Yeah, plus all the locals that are connected with. and Right, that, yeah. I mean, well, I'm not even counting the uh, the locals in that thousand number. So there's a lot of folks, even here at the Forum, that are not Free State Project participants. They're just local Liberty-loving folks from New Hampshire. And that's one of the reasons why New Hampshire was chosen, because it still has that uh, live free or die mentality. A lot of the people that live here are still on board with those ideas. And, and having the Free State Project people come in is 
is reinvigorating a lot of them and giving them hope. Right on, Ian. I appreciate your time, man. Thank you. Appreciate your efforts as well.